Hey guys, welcome to episode 13. Um, just a quick update, Aura is 16 weeks. She had a pup, a visit to the vet. She got the last of her puppy boosters. So in about a week, we're gonna go hard into the socialization, maybe go some dogs, some bigger dog parks, uh, that sort of thing. She Right now, she's growing one inch a week. I don't know if you can imagine what it's like growing one inch a week. I certainly cannot. Uh, Esper is also joining us here in the background. She has found a lick mat. These are something that I just discovered for our dogs that are uh, wonderful. I find that if you have a puppy and you need to preoccupy them for a bit, buy a lick mat, put a little peanut butter down, and you can get um, you get some time, you get a little time to yourself. It's kind of nice. So the purpose of today's video is I wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between the sexes with Borzois. Um, I don't know how it is with other dog breeds, but there is a significant difference between the sexes with Borzois, both statistically in size and weight, as well as temperament. Um, and I found some really interesting things. So the females tend to be a little smaller. We're going like 60 to 85 pounds, a little shorter to top off at about 26 inches at the, at the shoulder. Still a very tall dog. Esper's on the small side of that. She's got about 57 pounds, so a little below that 60 range. We don't really know how big Aura is going to be. I'm guessing 65, uh, maybe 70, just by the size of these gigantic feet. <clears throat> so the males tend to be a little larger. We're going up to 105 pounds, 70 to 105 pounds. Uh, for example, Esper's brother, Vladimir, is 105 pounds, standing at about 28 inches at the shoulder. So he is a big, 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 big monster. Um, and you know, it was interesting to find out, and this is this came directly from the comments, that you would think that the males being so big and so strong, that that would be the preferred dog for sport and coursing. Come to find out, that's completely opposite. The females are the ones that, that have the top, I think it was top five coursers um, for the for, for Borzois. I, I was shocked. So it's interesting to think, and, and I dug into it more, and it's really got a lot to do with the temperament. The, the, the female temperament tends to stay engaged a little longer than the, the males. So the males are big goofballs. Um, all I can say is anecdotally, you know, growing up with, with male dogs and knowing Esper's brother intimately, Vladimir, he is just, he wants to be the life of the attention, he, or life of the party. He smiles when he, he smiles, he loves the attention, he loves to be pet. He's very much, much more engaged with human activity and human attention. Um, that's part of the reason why I actually like the female better. Um, the female Borzoi temperament tends to be a little bit more aloof um, and a little bit more independent. It's something that I found really refreshing with the dog breed, that they can just do their own thing. It's not something that they need you around all the time. And, and luckily, by nature of my work, um, I'm, a, I'm home a, a good deal of time, but I still wanted a dog that was that was kind of doing its own thing and not necessarily needing everything from me. It's not to say that the, the male Borzois by any means are a needy dog. Still, they are Borzois at heart, so they're gonna be, in general, very aloof. So, males kind of goofy, kind of silly. Uh, the females really keen. You know, growing, having Esper, I realized that the female dogs are also extremely emotional aware. Uh, this is something they say all the time with, with Borzois is that you can't bring a Borzois into an unhappy house. It's more that they are so sensitive to your emotional states that you can actually, you can actually hurt your dog if you, if you bring them into an environment that is emotionally stressful. I know this about Esper. In times when we're moving or in times that, um, you know, my wife and I have had some, either some external issue of some kind, you know, Esper really feels it, and she feels it in her digestion. She it throws her off, feels it in her sleep, everything. So it's it's kind of nice to know that although they're very independent, they're hyper aware of what you're going through, and I think that's part of the reason why I love them. I feel like they can be reflections of what you're doing at any given time. I you know I I can't say that the, this isn't something that the males are capable of, but I just found that the females, when they look at you, that they really are engaging with you, and they're you know, they're, they're, they're feeling the same thing you feel. Um, I would say, again, if you're looking to buy a Borzoi or even considering buying one, you have to meet both sexes. They're very, very different. Uh, there's, something, there's something very special about the breed in general, but there's something very special to say that, you know, that we have, that they have such significant differences. You can tell that uh, Aura's also growing through teething. She has lost a couple of her tiny little front teeth, so she's going to be getting her 
her big teeth in. Um, so keep the questions coming. You know, I, I just wanted to do this touch on this because I forgot to mention it in my big picking of Warsway pros and cons thing. I would really consider the temperament uh, between the sexes a really important choice, especially if you're getting the dog from a very reputable breeder, hopefully, of course you will be, or if you're adopting, um, you, you take into consideration there's a different, there's big differences between the personalities between male and female. Um, I finally cracked the fetch with Aura thing. She's actually really starting to like it, so I'm going to do the fetch video. Uh, had a great comment about what we feed Esper, and that's kind of been changing. As I'm doing more and more, you know, as I go through these videos, I'm doing more and more research about the breed and trying to, you know, better my experience as we go through. So, you know, um, some of the dietary stuff, uh, I've learned some things, so I'm going to do a kind of an updated diet video um, that I hope you guys really enjoy. Please keep giving me the questions. Hopefully this is informative. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you guys again soon.